everyone, Sulang here from Uncle Salis Project. Today, I have a RockShop Duke C and this is actually taken off from an old bicycle. So I'm going to do a service of this RockShop uh, front suspension fork and I'll walk through with you on the whole process while I carry out the servicing of this fork. Firstly, before you do any cleaning of any fork, you want to clean all the exterior part or exterior body of the fork so that when you do cleaning up, you will not have sand falling into the inner parts. So what I'll do, I'll mount this on my back stand. We'll adjust this. We we'll make sure we clean all the outer uh, top and lowest. We're just gonna spray some of isopropyl alcohol. We so need to make sure that the um, the these two upper sections are also clean. So that there's no grease and sand that might have, might fall in while we do our servicing. I'll pay attention to where the wipers or extensions are. Most of the time where there's actually the mud and grit and sand which actually gets stuck alongside here. So we just, um, just spray and we just clean them up. Yeah, make sure there's no dust, there's no sand. Right, so once that's done, next we're going to do is actually to remove the bottom two screws here of which when you release these two screws, you'll actually open up the lowest and allowing the uh, suspension oil to actually flow out. What we need to do here, we need to have um, oil bucket. So we're going to put oil bucket and bottom here while we do the unscrewing of the bottom. Firstly, before you do any maintenance, we will remove the air on the air side of the suspension, which is on the left side of the fork with the suspension facing forward. So with a tool, be a pointed tool, just remove the air fully. So make sure all air has been removed. Then after that, we will remove the cap on the top with a wrench. Should be able to remove by hand. So now we have removed the air cap on the top. We can put this aside. I'll just turn this around. Similarly, we can remove over this side with the wrench. So in order for you to remove the lowest, you will need to use the number 5 Allen key, loosen it to about 5 turns. Similarly, onto the Allen screw on the other side, then using the mallet, you will knock, you will knock in, and similarly, you will knock the screw in so once the you knock in you'll see that the oil will come out okay drain out all the oil make sure you have have all the oil out then you also remove the screw on the other side so because there's oil in there you can actually move the lowers in and out so that most of the oil can be drained out. Then once most of the oil has been drained out, you can actually remove the lowest. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to reposition this. Just 
make sure that we are in frame not to so i'm going to remove the lowest now just by pulling out all the way like that okay so the lowest is now being separated from the stanchion then we will go to the process of cleaning up the lowest first we will now work on cleaning the lowest so i'm just going to remove this oil bucket i'm just going to put some gonna put some paper to absorb any oil in case it drops out so now i'm going to check the lowest and you can see actually this suspension has actually in a bad state so we're going to remove this um, dust seal first then we we'll check on the foam seal to see whether we need to um, purchase a new part to service it to remove the dust seal you just use a screwdriver and we just uh, hook it to the bottom of the dust seal and we we'll press it firmly push it out like that so you can see these are all the old seal it's actually a sponge which is already disintegrated then we remove the other one in a similar way so you see that so there's supposed to be a little seal on the lower section so you can see this has disintegrated and looks like we might need to order a new part for this so while we are at it we just clean up you can actually see inside all the old foam seal which is really in bad shape so we're going to just remove that old one see this then we will thoroughly clean it then we will get the new seal then we can assemble so what i'll do i normally take a piece of long piece of wood and i will bundle up the paper and i will wipe the inner parts of this lower section so that i will not scratch um, the inners with any uh, metal parts or so on i have my little wood piece of wood here so i'm just going to wrap in here i'm going to put some isopropyl alcohol and just clean up okay from the looks of it i see a lot of um, a lot of um, i can actually see a lot of um, like pieces of sand and so on inside to see if i can save this suspension so they're actually solid um thing. aluminium oxide here so these are all the solidified crystallized deposit after cleaning the lowest I remove the inner components that are sitting inside the stanchion and as you can see here I have laid out the components according to the sequence at which I remove them and there is a set of damper spring which is actually broken into pieces and this is probably the reason why the suspension wasn't working right so what i had to do is to actually look for replacement of the spring and also find the replacement for the foam seal this is the close-up of the rusted um, temper spring and it looks like it have broken into pieces um, due to rust and also due to usage and this is not a common part so i need to find a replacement um, as close as possible to the dimensions of the diameter of the spring so that i can put it back in place and reassemble it into the air spring section of the suspension there are a lot of hardened sand and crystal deposits of i'm not sure what, what are these and i have to remove so that i can clean it up once we clear this up we can actually put the new foam and then the foam will have a better fit around right now if you can see there's a lot of rough hardened aluminum oxide or, or then dried materials so what i'm going to do i'm going to actually use a, a wire brush a disc wire brush 
on the drill and I can actually um, clean this up. So this is the wire brush that, um, that I'm going to use. Fix onto the drill and yeah, you're going to use this to um, clear off the hardened deposit on the mounting space for the foam. So basically what we're going to do, I'm just going to put the um, brush here and I just kind of tightly brush and remove. You can see the white, the white deposits coming up. So yeah, those are the things that actually needs to be removed. See now it's clean. So I'm going to do the same for the rest of them. So now after uh, cleaning up, so now I have removed all the white deposit that was on the surface here. So now this is clean and also the insides of it.